part two, we'll basically go ahead and set up all of our action scripts. So come into your library. If you don't know where to find your library, come up here to window, grab a library. All right. And on this top right corner up here, you should see the little menu bar. Come down here, select new video. You can call this anything you want. All right. I'm just going to call this mass flash vid. Don't worry. This doesn't have anything to do with anything. Once you do that, just hit OK. And what's going to happen is it's going to throw it down here inside of the library. So once that's in your library, let's go ahead and grab our video player. I'm going to set this up by here. Okay. So with our video player on stage, we need to give this an instance name. So I'm going to select our video player, call this vid underscore player. Okay. That's the name that we're going to refer to it from the action script. All right, now the next thing I want to do, since uh, I don't really like the size of this, I'm going to put it at the basic standard video size for a, a normal camera, camera, not a HD camera. So basically you want to, what you want to do is you want to base this off of the uh, render settings that you have um, set up through your video, however you produce your video. Obviously that's the video size you want to use. All right, so I'm going to set this at 320 by 240. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and line this up. What's the uh, x-axis on this one? 163.1. Yeah, All right, looking good. Okay. All right, so right now I will put a body around the video a little bit later. Um, I think for right now this is going to be good for us to uh, go ahead and get started with. And uh, this color right here will change. I'll probably ultimately make this red black at the end, but uh, I just want to uh, be able to see it to make sure that we've got everything in working order. Okay, so that's it for uh, building the controls. From here on out, it's going to be all action script.